The new phase of the robotics revolution continues. The bipedal robot Digit continues to improve. It has learned to stand up on its own after falling. Honda, in collaboration with Canadian scientists, has developed sensitive artificial skin for robots. Boston Dynamics robot dog was connected to the GPT chat for the first time and learned to talk, after which the robot went out of control. Hyperloop TT presented a project for a cargo vacuum train, sparking attention in the transportation revolution. Whisk Electric Air Taxi completed its first public flight in Los Angeles, and the world's first two-wheeled electric car was introduced by the hoverboard creator. These and other technology news in this video. The two-legged robot Digit has been taught to stand up after falling. Agility Robotics specializes in the development of bipedal walking robots for use in warehouse logistics and other industrial sectors. This technical breakthrough opens up new possibilities for robots in terms of mobility and autonomy. Despite constant improvements in design and algorithms, walking robots can still occasionally lose their balance and fall. Therefore, it is important for them to be able to independently stand up after a fall. This enables them to be more reliable and self-sufficient in their work. During the presentation at the Promat 2023 exhibition, the robot unexpectedly fell while carrying a load. In a new video on the company's YouTube channel, engineers simulated a situation in which the robot falls on its back. They attached a rope at the level of the robot's legs and disabled the obstacle avoidance system. The robot digit tripped over the rope and fell on its back. In this situation, it was able to flip itself onto its stomach independently. The robot supported itself on the floor with its hands and helped itself with leg movements. As a result, it ended up squatting, allowing it to easily stand up to its full height. In previous episodes, we have mentioned that Agility Robotics plans to open a factory for mass production of digit robots, initially aiming to produce hundreds of robots per year, with the potential to increase production to tens of thousands per year in the future. Continuing on the topic of robots, a group of scientists from the University of British Columbia, in collaboration with Honda Research Company, has developed sensitive artificial skin for robots. It is evident that robots operating alongside humans must have sensitive external coverings. This mainly concerns tactile sensations, which will enable artificial intelligence or programs to accurately calculate the force applied by their limbs. After all, a robot can do more than just serve a glass. It can help a person stand up or transfer them to a wheelchair if it serves as a caregiver. To give robots a sense of touch, scientists have developed an expensive and mass-market suitable sensor based on silicone rubber. The proposed design not only compresses in response to pressure, but it also folds when forces are distributed longitudinally. This is how human skin works. However, unlike human skin, which has hundreds of sensitive receptors per unit area, artificial skin cannot boast such properties yet. Creating more sensitive sensors will allow robots to perform finer manual tasks, from sewing to assembling small parts. Robots are becoming increasingly human-like, and in the future, they may be indistinguishable from us. The development of artificial skin for robots represents a significant leap in the entire field of robotics industry. The company Boston Dynamics used the popular chatbot chat GPT from OpenAI, along with some other open source language models, to train their robotic dog Spot to respond to human speech. Now Spot conducts tours around the company's premises, answering tourists' questions. The team provided Spot with a very brief script for each room in their facilities. The bot combined this script with the images it captures from its cameras, allowing it to gather more information about what it sees before generating a response. According to the company, Spot uses models for visual question answering, image retrieval, and generating responses about the images. Additionally, the robot was equipped with a speaker to convert text into speech, and its mouth movements were synchronized with the spoken phrases. The RoboDog performed the role of a tour guide and was able to describe its surroundings. However, some unexpected incidents occurred that no one had trained it for. For instance, when asked about its parents, the robot suddenly approached some old robot standing nearby and pointed at them. Share your thoughts in the comments about this incident. Do you believe robots have started to go out of control? Now let's talk about the upcoming transportation revolution. For the last 10 years, Hyperloop Transportation Technologies has been developing the technology for high-speed passenger and cargo vacuum transport originally proposed by Elon Musk. Their latest invention, the Express Freight System, consists of a fully automated vacuum pipeline, levitating capsules, a conveyor belt, and electric doors for simultaneous loading and unloading. 
preceding the express freight system was a technical and economic study completed in 2019, which determined that the high-speed vacuum cargo transport system would be cheaper than air or road transportation. In collaboration with the British design firm Tangerine, Hyperloop Transportation Technologies developed a cargo transport system that meets four requirements. Integration into existing infrastructure, maximizing cargo space inside the capsule, minimizing loading time, and adaptability to various customer demands. As a result, cargo containers with side doors for unloading and loading were designed, slightly smaller than the larger containers developed by Hyperloop for maritime transport needs. Upon arrival through the vacuum tube at the destination, the capsules are automatically unloaded. The containers with delivered cargo are replaced with new ones. A conveyor belt moving parallel to the tube carries the containers away from the capsules. The capsule design was slightly modified to match the dimensions of air cargo containers. In the future, the company plans to integrate the express freight system into to a larger passenger transportation infrastructure. Judging by the previously proposed plan, the passenger system will consist of similar capsules resembling aircraft fuselages, moving like maglev trains inside a vacuum tube at speeds up to 1,220 kilometers per hour. In May of this year, Hyperloop TT and its partners received 800 million euros from the European Union to build a commercial transportation network in Italy. If the company manages to realize its plans, it is highly likely that in the next decade, we will witness a true transportation revolution, entering a new era of passenger and cargo transport. Whisk Aero, a subsidiary of Boeing specializing in electric flying taxis, conducted its first public demonstration flights of electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles in Los Angeles. Whisk showed its fifth-generation transportation vehicle in action. Whisk announced an economic partnership with Long Beach in 2022. In July of this year, the company also completed its first public demonstration of an autonomous EV tow aircraft during EAA Air Venture in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Whisk is already developing its sixth-generation aircraft, expected to accommodate four passengers and luggage, fly up to 145 kilometers on a single charge, have autonomous capabilities, and charge in just 15 minutes. The company Whisk began its operations as Z Aero in 2010, later merging with Kitty Hawk Corporation. When the company recognized the potential of its fifth-generation electric air taxi, the decision was made to spin off the aircraft and the team into a separate company called Whisk. Aerospace giant Boeing invested in this project and became a company investor. The potential of this air taxi is truly impressive. Once the company succeeds in implementing all its developments, the passenger transportation industry will indeed reach a new level. The creator of the hoverboard of Chinese-American origin, Shane Chin, has unveiled a unique electric vehicle called Shane. The model resembles a cast iron mortar, but has only two wheels accommodating five passengers in its cabin. Shane has a streamlined body and compact dimensions comparable to a small crossover. The innovation promises exceptional efficiency, safety, and greater capacity. Its main feature is the two large wheels responsible for controlling the electric vehicle. Thanks to this design, the car can rotate 360 degrees in place. Shane remains stable due to the displacement of the center of gravity relative to the wheels. This means that even during rapid acceleration or braking, the body stays in its original position. The wheels also incorporate regenerative shock absorbers, increasing the vehicle's range between charges. An active spoiler is installed at the rear, rising during braking or reaching a specific speed. Instead of side doors for entry, the front part of the vehicle shifts upward. Inside the cabin, there is no steering wheel or pedals for controlling the car. Instead, a special control panel is provided, located between the front passengers. The technical specifications of Shane are currently unknown, and the timeline for the release of a real prototype or the vehicle's availability has not been disclosed. However, experts have recognized the concept is quite promising. Write in the comments which technologies from this video you like the most. If you found something new and interesting in this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. See you soon.